Tractor's on the front porch singing old familiar song. The tractor's in the barn and the pastor's freshly mown. Looking through the screen door, the aroma draws you in to the heart of the home where old memories begin. The heart of the home keeps calling you in. Sherry's in the kitchen cooking with her friends, sharing recipes together, stories and songs, making new memories the heart of the home. Sherry Martin. Welcome back to Harris Acres. Today my guest is Miss Lucy Van Doren and Lucy and I have something in common. We love fresh green beans and we love somebody else growing them, don't we? Yes. Were you tickled to death when I walked in with a bushel of beans that yes. we didn't have to hoe, exactly. we didn't have to fertilize, and today, because it's so hot and dry, the snakes are running around in the yard. We didn't have to do that, so we were really excited. I have spent a um, couple of days on the road with my little widow wagon grannies, and you haven't been to Darnell Farms yet, but I found a wonderful place in Bryson City. Wish I'd found it years ago. They grow anything you want to can or freeze. And um, beautiful place, right on the Tuckasegee River. Mm -hmm. It's just inside Bryson City and you cross the river and then the fields are just full. Wow. And they literally went out there and picked these for the, me. These white paper on Absolutely, oh, absolutely. My. So we didn't have to sweat, we didn't have to fertilize, we didn't have to worry about the snakes, mm. and we are gonna have supper tonight with the best white half runner beans. They look good. He told me they were about five to seven days early, but I insisted that he pick them because I knew I wanted to have something fresh. We got squash, we got yellow, red, and green tomatoes. Wow, yellow uh, tomatoes? Yellow tomatoes. Wonderful. And um, Darnell Farms starts um, in April, third week of April, they start having strawberries. Mm. And because we go to the singing and the Smokies to hear the inspirations, that's kind of how I found this place. Oh. And um, every time we go to the singing, we stop by, you know, the singing's in July, September, and October, so there's always something growing during right. that time. And I always can't wait to get to Darnell Farms. And uh, last night, man, we stopped there and we got the tomatoes, cucumbers. I think we're going to have a cucumber sandwich. Oh, I love cucumbers. Now, um, you know, I grew up in Atlanta, and we didn't have a farm, and we didn't have vegetables, and I couldn't wait to come to the country in the summer. And I can remember sitting on Aunt Bessie's porch, and she always had big bas baskets of tomatoes that they had just gathered, and I would just eat a tomato, just wash it off and eat it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I started doing cucumbers, a cucumber sandwich. Mayonnaise, blue plate mayonnaise, yeah, salt blue and plate. pepper, right. and a little bit of cucumber. So today we've got some cucumbers, we've got tomatoes, and um, we're going to do something. I found a cookbook from Eufaula, Alabama that a friend told me about, and it had a recipe, tomato gravy. Have you ever had that? Yeah, my grandmother used to fix that. She did. Well, tell wonderful. me about it. Well, she would just uh, chop her tomatoes up and make a little... Uh, gravy out of it and then she'd chop up more tomatoes to have just a little meat in it you know after the uh -huh. other tomatoes cooked okay. down. Now this lady's recipe was just make your gravy just like you do cook your fat back mm -hmm. and have your grease right. and make your cream gravy and then dice your tomatoes mm -hmm. and stir into that and then she said she poured it over cold biscuits and they would have that for supper quite often. Well my mother or grandmother used to crumble up cornbread and put on it and she also made uh, cottage cheese Homemade cottage Homemade cheese? Homemade cottage cheese, wow. and she'd put just a little bit on the plate with the tomato gravy to give protein. Right, so yeah. that was a meal. Right. That was a full meal. That was good, too. And, and you know, I can remember when I first came to the country and um, married J.S., I loved the idea that his mama did um, grease gravy. 
I'd never had grease gravy. Yeah. And she made grease gravy, and uh, she would do her green beans. Now, I don't cook mine like this, but her green beans, she would take the grease from her bacon or whatever in the mm -hmm. morning and pour it in her beans, and she would cook them till they nearly turned black. Now, I don't do that. I don't like that. I don't do that. I, and today, we're using Miss Betty Champion's um, recipe, which is kind of strange. It has olive oil in it, mm -hmm. but it smells wonderful cooking. Now, my granny would put fat back in it. Right or country ham, or, or even the bacon drippings. Mm -hmm. But Miss Betty said try olive oil, so I did that today. And it's extra virgin olive oil, and I think that's gonna be better for us. And um, not that we care since we're gonna make gravy, but you know, <laughs> a little tomato gravy. It'll have vitamins in it. True. Tomato has vitamins in it. And um, the guys at Darnell Farm had um, onions, tomatoes, Potatoes, so we got new potatoes, new potatoes that we're going to put in the top of our green right. beans. Okay. And they have, um, they had some watermelons, had a few cantaloupe, and the, um, let's see, strawberries. They still had a few strawberries. Mm. Why don't we make a strawberry cobbler? That sounds good. I think that would be good. Okay. Now I've never made a strawberry cobbler. Have you? Yes, I have. Tell it's, me what you would do to it. Uh, normally just about like you would a, a peach cobbler. I was going to use Sprite for the liquid. What do you think of that? Well, you have to cut down on your sugar. I'm not going to put sugar in oh, it. Oh, you're not going to put sugar I just in. decided, because the strawberries have that little bit of sweetness uh -huh. themselves, uh -huh. that I would just use Sprite. Well, you and can always put ice cream on if it's not sweet That's enough. what I thought. We're going to use some Mayfield Vanilla Ice Cream. There you go. So I thought I would just use the strawberries, and then I'm going to cover it in Sprite mm -hmm. and make my crust that's just the butter, sugar, and flour, right. so the crust will have some sugar in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we've got Cool Whip. You know, we have Cool Whip. Oh, yeah, so you're the Cool Whip Queen. I'm the Cool Whip Queen. There you go. I think I'm the blue plate queen, too, because <laughs> I have learned there are so many recipes. You know, in a week or so, we're going to do a mayonnaise cake. We are going to, do, we're going to do a mayonnaise cake, Sounds and um, I got the recipe from a lady in Alaska, and she said it keeps it from drying out, that it's very moist. Okay. And, you know, that's a problem with chocolate cakes. Sometimes they do dry out. Do you know my daughter-in-law puts a blue plate mayonnaise in her biscuits when she wow. makes biscuits? I've done that she one time. Mayonnaise. Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh, yeah. I just got a bean that doesn't string too good or break too good. Uh-oh, what does that mean? Was it not well, on the vine that long means, enough or too long? That means my mother used to tell me they were tough holes. And maybe you could uh, just uh, pop the beans out and throw the hole away. And really? Because it's tough. Well, now, and these, are, they feel great. Mm -hmm. And you know, we were talking about this earlier. My mother-in-law, who is absolutely the best gardener in the world used to grow green beans and sell them she sold them for eight dollars a bushel mm -hmm. then she went to ten dollars a bushel and she hated having to do that then she went to twelve dollars a bushel wow. worried her to death i paid 30 a bushel for these and they were worth every and red you got a good cent. buy because absolutely. they're more than that absolutely the market they, they're wonderful and they're fresh and they feel good and I can't wait to have these um, with our sliced tomatoes right. or our tomato gravy, whatever we decide. And the um, tomatoes, the yellow ones, do they have not quite as much acid? They don't have as much acid, right. Good. That'll be good People for People that have bad stomachs, that's what Can eat tomato ones. Right. Yeah, the yellow ones, yeah. Well, I think it's going to be neat and I think today's going to be a fun day. We... You're going to go with me now in a couple of days. We're going back to Darnell right. Farms because oh. now that we know okay, the produce good. is in, Maybe I can get me it's some a beans. short trip to Bryson City, and it's just right on the Tuckasegee River. It's exit 69 as you go up. Is that 74 you go through? Don't to Inspiration ask me. Park? You know I've never been up there. Well, it's Inspiration Park's exit, and I believe it's 69. And uh, it's just right off there. It has good directions, and it's easy to find. They're open till about, I think I was there at 7 o'clock last night. Wow. So uh, they're open during the season. And then in the fall, they have a corn maze. So we'll be, we'll be traveling there and visiting good. with them often. We want you to visit with us again in about 60 seconds because we're going to be right back, guys. Hang around now. Mama Lucy. Oh. It was so hot out there. I've just been sweating, sitting on the porch in the rocking chair, warm. stringing beans. It was warm. Yeah, it was really hard, wasn't it? <laughs> the poor Darnell boys grew them, picked them, handed them to us, and we had to string them. It was fun, and they yeah. smell wonderful. Now, today, we really are just using olive oil to cook them. And I want you to add these little, these are new potatoes mm -hmm. that came from Darnell Farms. Right. I like new potatoes. You know, you and I made a potato salad with them. They're awesome. Right. So, that's, my, that's my recipe. That is your recipe. I yeah. want you to add these to the green beans. Okay. We're going to let them cook slowly, and then we're going to assemble our squash casserole. And um, the ingredients will be available on the screen for you. 
And as always, they are available in the Habitat cookbook. Remember, check out our website. Your purchase, the price of the purchase goes all to Habitat for Humanity. So um, check out our website, www.heartofthehome at etc.com. Email me, send me your family recipes, and you'll see Mama and Lucy and I trying new recipes, right. won't you? Now, right. you've never done this recipe. No, no. not this one. No. Now, I, while I assemble this, will you please slice some of those mm. wonderful yellow tomatoes? Look Isn't at that, that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. You don't want them peeled, do you? No, mm. no, no. Mm -mm. I think that when you peel it, you lose part of the vitamins, don't right. you? Right, you do. Yeah, and, and to get today, guys, on this recipe, I am adding an ingredient that is not in the Habitat cookbook. I am going to put some bacon bits, and I do use the real Oscar Mayer. Um, I'm not going to stand and fry it in this heat, but um, it's pretty good, and I'm going to just add a little bit of that to the recipe. Look at that beautiful thing. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And remember, folks, a recipe is a beginning, isn't it? Right. It is a beginning, and if you like something else, change it. Add a little something else to it. <clears throat> now, we've got our eggs and our ranch dressing, mm -hmm. and to that we're going to add our cheese. Creamy good. And this doesn't take long to bake, and I've used croutons. Croutons are the original ingredient for the recipe, and then I've used breadcrumbs. I've used saltine crackers, and one of my favorite ways to do this is the um, sour cream and onion potato chips. Mm -hmm. Just crunch them up and put them on top of it, mm -hmm. because it has that little bit of onion and chive. Really good, mm -hmm. really good. And you know, some people don't like squash. Can you imagine that, Lucy? No, I really love can't. squash. Squashes. Love squash. You can do a lot of things with squash. Now, my granny fried it. I call it the old timey way, and my husband liked it. Granny put it all together in a pan with onions and salt and pepper and cornmeal. Mm -hmm. JS liked each individual piece fried and turned mm -hmm. by itself. Mm -hmm. So that was a lot of trouble to have a husband and five kids to have to do that for. But I can tell you, I didn't do it often, guys. I usually fried it the old timey way, like Granny did. I thought that was asking a little much for a working mom. <laughs> she like, yeah, yeah. You know, it really today the women have we got it made or what? We do. We really, we truly do. Made. We have simplified recipes. Um, we've learned shortcuts. You grew up in an era that I can't even imagine. Well, it was really not to say that you're old, was, Mama Lucy. I am old. <laughs> Seventy-three is getting pretty old. That's, well, <laughs> that's not old, Mama Lucy. Look at there. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. Now, will you hand me the pan to put the squash in? I will. It's I right behind will. you. Yep. There you go. I love squash. And, you know, one of the things I do when I fry them, I add a little bit of nutmeg to it. Have you ever done that? Yeah. Yeah. A little salt and pepper, a little bit of nutmeg. Wow. Yep. I thought yep. I was old enough to know everything. Well, you've taught me a lot. You've taught me a lot. And Thank I'm you. glad. You know, it's funny, but I'm the baby, and most of my friends are in their 70s and 80s. <laughs> Y'all can't leave me now. Well, you just have to you hang just around. have to get some more <clears throat> friends. No, no, no. No, no. Can't give my buddies up. We have such a good time traveling together and hanging out. Chilling. I want to Chilling. know <clears throat> what the address is and the way to get up to the farm where you got all this stuff. Darnell Farms, remember exit 69 mm -hmm. off of 74. 74. Bryson City, North Carolina. Just go up through Murphy. When you leave Blue Ridge, get on 60 and go up through Murphy. And I think it's about, you go through the Nantahala Gorge, which is a beautiful, beautiful drive. Mm -hmm. And then you go up to... Um, as you get out of the gorge, it's about five miles, mm. and you'll see exit 69, and it says Darnell Farms. Nice, nice people. Nice people. Where else could you pull up in your car and buy all the produce that we have worked and sweated? Oh, Ooh, wow. Sweated. Think oh, about that. I think you man. know I just may throw my hoe away and have no more gardens. Oh, yeah. That sounds like a good plan. I know a place now where to go get good food. I think I heard the doorbell. I think they think lunch is ready, and it's not oh, quite really? ready, but it will be soon. Okay, let me will have Will you stick that. that in the oven? I will. That looks great. It looks wonderful. It looks wonderful. Can't wait. Now, this is going to take about 25 minutes. And while that's cooking, the potatoes are going to be cooking. We have these gorgeous, absolutely beautiful sliced tomatoes. I wonder if Lucy would notice if I snuck a tomato. She might smack my hands again. <laughs> now, Lucy, 
When you, do you do cucumber pickles? Because we also yes. have some cucumbers. I love to do bread and butter pickles. Do you? Yeah. Now, yeah. I'm not much for making pickles mm -hmm. because you can walk in the Blue Star <laughs> and pick up any kind of pickle you want. Remember, check out our website. Your purchase, the price of the purchase goes all to Habitat for Humanity. Y'all stay Sounds tuned. Good. We'll be right back now. Sounds good. Hi, folks. We're back. Oh, I wish they had smell-o-vision. Do you smell <laughs> those strawberries? Yeah. Our little nice. buddy, our little John Deere farmer, mm -hmm. is our sidekick now because okay. he's going to be the only farming we do. If there's any plowing or hoeing, he's going to do it, and you're going to go home and do what with your hoe? <laughs> well, I was going to tear it up or burn it or throw it away. <laughs> throw it but, away. Throw it away, but, guys. But I was told different. Well, keep it just in case a snake comes through the yard. That's okay. what you told me. Now, we heard the doorbell, and we were joined by Miss Kelsey. She's come by, and you usually are building motors with your dad at the go-kart track. But today, you're going to learn to cook. And your first lesson is the microwave, honey. Put that butter in the microwave. We're going to be making a quick strawberry cobbler. And the liquid for this is going to be a Sprite. We're going to use fresh strawberries, a Sprite, and then we're going to make my crust. And we'll have a squash casserole coming out of the oven, green beans with the fresh potatoes, mm -hmm. sliced tomatoes, Right. And dessert. Do we need a meat today? No. 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 With those fresh veggies, no. We don't need a meat. And I hope we can teach Miss Kelsey to cook because most 14 year olds know two things a cell phone, or what kind of car am I going to get, Daddy? Or where but, is the fast food? That's right. But we're right. going to teach this young girl, to, we're going to teach her to cook. If she can build engines and run around with grease all over on Saturday <laughs> nights, she can cook because cooking's a little bit greasy and dirty too sometimes, isn't there it? There you go. Boy, those smell good, Lucy. Wow. Wow. Now, what button did you mash? Popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> Popcorn. Um, and that's my button because I can't see the rest of the buttons. So, I just learned. Now, Lucy, I think that's enough for this first cobbler. Okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Kelsey, you smell those? Now, did you hear the trick? We're going to pour a Sprite on it. This is going to be a lesson that you can do. We're going to let it sit a little bit while we make the crust. And the crust is just sugar, flour, and butter, no other liquid. So the only liquid in this recipe is the Sprite. It's going to be kind of like a little crunchy. <clears throat> Boy, does that mean it's done? You better check on it and see. That looks really good, I'll oh, tell you. Oh, man. These thought, strawberries are beautiful. I never thought about doing that. No. Well, Where did you come up with that? Just in your head? In my head. Sometimes I worry about my head. <laughs> Sometimes I worry about my head. But you know what? So far, so good. Yeah. If I flub up, if it's not good, we won't put it on the website. But guys, if you see those on the website, you'll know it was good. Now, Kelsey, there's our butter. And honey, you had not been around me long enough to no, know I don't measure much. But I do put equal amounts of sugar and flour, and that's the crust. And I do use white lily flour. So there's our white lily flour, and then sugar. And what you do is equal amounts with your butter, and then I'll show you the texture it needs to be. That's a little bit too liquidy. So you go back with a little flour, and back with a little sugar. Now can you do this when you get home today? Yeah. Will your mom be surprised? Yeah. Will your daddy be really surprised? Yeah. Yes, because you're not using WD-40. <laughs> See how simple that was? The hardest thing about giving people this recipe is they try to put milk in it. And there's no liquid other than the butter. And that's because my precious Aunt Tempe said, honey, throw that butter to it. And see, so you spoon the crust on there. And that's all you have to do. It looks good. It looks great. Now, I'm going to have that you put this. It does look good. It's good. I'm going to let you put this in the oven. And uh, when this and the squash casserole come out, you're going to have one of the, probably the best lunches you've had today. <laughs> you said you like fresh green beans, don't you? Mm -hmm. Good, good. Have you ever picked green beans? No. Have you ever strung green beans? No. Well, honey, you're going to learn because we're Mama Lucy. We've got a victim yeah, here. We're going to teach her. <laughs> we're going to teach her. She'll you know, love it. my grandmother taught me to string beans. Right. And some of the best memories of my life were sitting on the front porch with Granny with her apron on. Telling you stories. And her dental sweet snuff can. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh, that sweet woman. She was the light of my life. 
I couldn't wait to spend summers with her. She was precious. And she loved me on all the grandkids. I was the favorite. Now, how are you sure about that? Because she told them, and they all knew it. <laughs> they all knew it. Anything she wanted done, I was the one to go to. So I was her girl. Now, Miss Kelsey, was that so simple? No, Sweetheart, will you put that in the oven? There you go. There you go. Now, Lucy, we've got enough to make another cobbler. Right. You're going to have your bridge club tomorrow. We can use that for that. Well, that would be nice. That, that would be good. good. Yeah, that would be love good. That. And you know, if these sat in the Sprite a little bit, I think they would really be good. It would probably draw out the flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Was this a quick and easy idea? Very easy. Quick and easy. And remember, guys, at Harris Farm and at Harris Acres, we are about quick and easy, aren't we? Yes. We want to do something good, and we want to teach you the simpler things of life, but we want you to remember the hard times when Mama Lucy was a child. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, if you're canning, if you if you put up anything, think about Darnell Farms. Right. If you make pickles or... Now, one thing I don't do with pickle beets, because I have learned you can buy them cheaper than you can make them. Well, that's true. That's a lot of Very trouble. True. That's you a can lot of always trouble. add to them, too, when you open them. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Now, this strawberry cobbler is going to be ready. And do you think we should make homemade ice cream use Mayfield? I think Mayfield. Oh, Mayfield. <laughs> no, no, no. Remember, we're about quick and easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> quick and easy. If we made it, we'd have to churn it and do all that ice and salt. No, 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 honey. If you're going to learn from the two pros, you're going to learn quick and easy and simple, simple. Guys, we have loved having you in our home. We want you to come back every week. Remember, Thursday nights, Harris Acres, Harris yes. Farms, and we have a surprise for you. We're going to be traveling, and we're going to be visiting various houses. And when we show up in a new house, we want you to always be there. We'll be in houses in North Georgia, in houses in North Carolina, mm -hmm. and we'll just load up and go. We'll take our vegetables, and we'll always go by Darnell Farms to get vegetables. Now, while we enjoy our lunch, I want you to sit back, relax with your family, have a good afternoon, a good evening, and remember, tune in to us every week on Heart of the Home. Thank you so much, guys. It was great coming into your home. Bye-bye uh -huh. now. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Sharing recipes together, stories and songs. Thank you.